the nervous system is composed primarily of two cell types supporting cells known as glial cells which are also called glia or neuroglia and nerve cells which are also called neurons which form the basic signaling unit of nervous system. Neurons are basic building blocks of the nerve cell. They are specialized to transmit information throughout the body. These highly specialized nerve cells are responsible for communicating information in both chemical and electrical forms. Neurons provide unique function of nervous system such as sensing, thinking, remembering, controlling, muscle activity and regulating glandular secretions. Neuroglial or glial cells which can be classified on the basis of size, cytoplasmic processes and internal organizations into four types. They are astrocytes, oligodendrocytes, microglia and ependymal cells. The general functions are forming myelin sheets, protecting the neurons via phagocytosis, regulating the internal environment of neurons in the central nervous system. The structure of neurons. There are three basic parts of a neuron, which are the dendrites, the cell bodies, and the exon. However, all neurons vary in size, shape, and characteristics depending on the function and role of the neuron. Some neurons have few dendritic branches while others are highly branched in order to receive a great deal of information. Some neurons have short exons while the others can be quite long. Dendrites are the branched projections of a neuron that act to conduct the electrochemical stimulation received from other neural cells to the cell body or soma of the neuron from which the dendrites project. Electrical stimulation is transmitted onto the dendrites by upstream neurons via synapses which are located at various points throughout the dendritic arbor. Dendrites play a critical role in integrating this synaptic inputs and in determining the extent to which action potentials are produced by the neurons. Cell body, it's also known as soma or perikaryon. The soma or perikaryon is the bulbous end of the neuron containing the cell nucleus. The word soma comes from the Greek meaning body. The soma of a neuron is often called the cell body. There are many different specialized type of neurons and their sizes vary from as small as about 30 micrometers to over 10 millimeter for some of the largest neurons of invertebrates. The soma contains many organelles including granules called nasal granules, which are composed largely of rough endoplasmic reticulum and free polyribosomes. The cell nucleus is a key feature of the soma. The nucleus is the source of most of the RNA that is produced in the neurons. In general, most proteins are produced from messenger RNAs that do not travel far from the cell nucleus. Exon. An exon is a long, slender projection of a nerve cell or neuron that conducts electrical impulses away from the neuron's cell body or soma. An exon is one of two types of protoplasmic protrusions that extrude from the cell body of a neuron, the other type being dendrites. Exons are distinguished from dendrites by several features including shape, length and third is function. All of these rules have exceptions however. Exons make contacts with other cells, usually other neurons 
but sometimes muscle or gland cells at junctions called synapses. At a synapse, the membrane of the exon closely adjoins the membrane of the target cell and special molecular structures serves to transmit electrical or electrochemical signals across the gap. Myelin is a dielectric material that forms a layer, the myelin sheet, usually around only the exon of a neuron. It is essential for the proper functioning of the nervous system. Myelin is an outgrowth of a type of glial cell. The production of the myelin sheet is called myelination. In humans, the production of myelin begins in the 14th week of fetal development, although little myelin exists in the brain at the time of birth. During infancy, myelination occurs quickly and continues throughout the adolescent stage of life. Myelination, the process by which glial cells ensheat the exons of neurons in layers of myelin, ensuring the rapid conduction of electrical impulses in the nervous system. The formation of myelin sheets is one of the most spectacular examples of cell-cell interaction and coordination in nature. Myelin sheets are formed by the vast membranous extensions of glial cells. Schwann cells in the peripheral nervous system and oligodendrocytes in the central nervous system. The exon is wrapped many times by this sheet-like membrane extensions to form the final myelin sheet or internodes. The thickness of the myelin sheet is proportional to the exon's diameter. Internodes can be as long as 1 mm and are separated from their neighbors by a short gap which is known as the node of Renbier of 1 micrometer. The concentration of voltage dependent sodium channels is the exon membrane at the node and the high electrical resistance of the multilayered myelin sheet ensures that action potentials jumps from node to node, a process termed as saltatory conduction. Schwann cells or oligodendrocytes are located at regular intervals along the process and so a section of myelinated axon would look like this. Between areas of myelin are non-myelinated areas called the nodes of Ranvier because fat that is myelin acts as an insulator. Membrane coated with myelin will not conduct an impulse. So in a myelinated neuron action potentials only occur along the nodes and therefore impulses jump over the areas of myelin going from node to node in a process called saltatory conduction. Schwann cells supply the myelin for peripheral neurons, whereas oligodendrocytes specifically of the interfascicular type myelinate the exons of the central nervous system. Myelin is considered a defining characteristic of the gnathosome vertebrates, but myelin-like sheets have also arisen by parallel evolution in some invertebrates, although they are quite different from vertebrate myelin at molecular level. Myelin was discovered in 1854 by Rudolf Virchow. Outermost layer of myelin sheet consists of neurulema, which helps in embedding the Schwann cells. Classification of neurons. Depending on the presence of axonal processes, the neurons are classified as unipolar, bipolar or multipolar. A unipolar neuron is a type of neuron in which only one protoplasmic process, that is neurite, extends from the cell body. Unipolar neurons that begin as bipolar neurons during development are known as pseudo-unipolar neurons. Unipolar neurons 
are common in insects where the cell body is often located at the periphery of the brain and is electrically inactive. The cell bodies often send a signal neurite into the brain. However, this neurite may ramify into a large number of branches making a very complex set of connections with other neurites in region of neurophil. In all species including the vertebrates and invertebrates, many types of primary sensory neurons are unipolar. Typically, this have special structures for transducing some type of physical stimulus like light, sound, temperature, etc. into electrical activity, don't possess dendrites and a single exon that conveys the resulting signals into the spinal cord or brain. Bipolar A bipolar cell is a type of neuron which has two extensions. Bipolar cells are specialized sensory neurons for the transmission of special senses. As such, they are part of the sensory pathways for smell, sight, taste, hearing and vestibular functions. Common examples are the bipolar cell of the retina, the ganglia of the vestibulo cochlear nerve and the extensive use of bipolar cells to transmit efferent that is motor signals to control the muscles. Bipolar cells are also found in the spinal ganglia when the cells are in an embryonic conditions. Sometimes the extensions also called processes comes off from opposite poles of the cell and the cell then assumes a spindle shape in other cells both processes emerge at the same point. Multipolar neuron Multipolar neuron are so named because they have many or multi processes that extends from the cell body lots of dendrites plus a single exon. Functionally these neurons are either motor that is conducting impulses that will cause activity such as contraction of the muscles or association that is conducting impulses and permitting communication between neurons with the central nervous system. Based on the functions, these are classified into three types. First, that is sensory neurons, which is also known as afferent neurons. Second, that is interneurons, which is also called association neurons. Third, which is a motor neuron, also known as efferent or effector neurons. Sensory neurons are found in peripheral nervous system. Sensory neurons inside the nerves conduct electrochemical signals from peripheral receptors to the central nervous system. In the CNS, the sensory information is transferred to interneurons and carried to the brain. Brain interneurons process the sensory information develop a response and deliver the action plans to the motor neurons. The motor neurons conduct action potentials out of the CNS to an appropriate peripheral effectors. It conducts the commands to the muscle and glands. They are found in spinal cord, brain stem and ANS ganglia. The resting membrane potential when a neuron is not sending a signal, it is at rest. The membrane is responsible for the different events that occur in a neuron. All animal cell membranes contain a protein pump called the sodium potassium pump. This uses the energy from ATP splitting to simultaneously pump three sodium ions out of the cell and two potassium ions in. The sodium potassium pump. Three sodium ions from inside the cell first bind to the transport protein. Then a phosphate group is transferred from ATP to the transport protein causing it to change shape 
and release the sodium ions outside the cell. Two potassium ions from outside the cell then bind to the transport protein and as the phosphate is removed, the protein assumes its original shape and releases the potassium ions inside the cell. The combination of sodium-potassium ATPase pump and the leak channels cause a stable imbalance of sodium and potassium ions across the membrane. This imbalance of ions causes a potential difference, which is also called voltage, between the inside of the neuron and its surroundings, called the resting membrane potential. The membrane potential is always negative inside the cell and varies in size from minus 20 to minus 200 millivolts in different cells and species. As such, in humans, it is minus 70 millivolts. Proteins are also responsible for the negativity. The sodium potassium ATPase is thought to have evolved as an osmoregulator to keep the internal water potential high and so stop water entering animal cells and bursting them. Plant cells don't need this as they have strong cell wall to prevent bursting. Nerve impulse. Neurons send messages electrochemically. This means that chemicals that are ions cause an electrical impulse. Neurons and muscle cells are electrically excitable cells which mean that they can transmit electrical nerve impulses. These impulses are due to events in the cell membrane. Reaction potential. The resting potential tells us about what happens when a neuron is at rest. An action potential occurs when a neuron sends information down an exon. This involves an explosion of electrical activity where the nerve and muscle cells resting membrane potential changes. In nerve and muscle cells, the membranes are electrically excitable which means they can change their membrane potential and this is the basis of the nerve impulse. The sodium and potassium channels in the cells are voltage gated which means that they can open and close depending on the voltage across the membrane. The normal membrane potential inside the exon of nerve cells is minus 70 millivolts and since this potential can change in nerve cells it is called the resting potential. When a stimulus is applied a brief reversal of the membrane potential lasting about a millisecond occurs. This brief reversal is called the action potential. An action potential has two main phases called depolarization and repolarization. At rest, the inside of the neuron is slightly negative due to a higher concentration of positively charged sodium ions outside the neuron. When stimulated past threshold that is about minus 30 millivolt in humans, sodium channel open and sodium rushes into the exon causing a region of positive charge within the exon. This is called depolarization. The region of positive charge causes nearby voltage gated sodium channels to close. Just after the sodium channels close, the potassium channels open wide and potassium exits the exon so the charge across the membrane is brought back to its resting potential. This is called repolarization. This process continues as a chain reaction along the exon. The influx of sodium depolarizes the exon and the outflow of the potassium repolarizes the exon. The sodium potassium pump restores the resting concentrations of sodium and potassium ions. As the polarity becomes restored, there is a slight overshoot in the movements of potassium ions called hyperpolarization. The resting membrane potential is restored by sodium-potassium ATPase pump. 
action potentials can travel along the exon at speed of 0.1 to 100 meters per second. This means that nerve impulses can get from one part of the body to another in a few milliseconds which allows for fast responses to the stimuli. Impulses are much slower than electrical currents and wires which travel at close to the speed of light that is 3 cross 10 to the power 8 meters per second. The speed is affected by three factors. The first is temperature. The higher the temperature, the faster the speed. So, homeothermic that is warm blooded animals have faster responses than poikilothermic that is cold blooded ones. The second factor is exon diameter. The larger the diameter, the faster the speed. So, marine invertebrates which live at temperature close to 0 degree C have developed thick exons to speed up their responses. This explains why squirts have giant exons. The third factor is myelin sheet. Only vertebrates have a myelin sheet surrounding their neurons. The voltage gated ion channels are found only at the node of Renvier and between the nodes the myelin sheet acts as a good electrical insulator. The action potential can therefore jump large distances from node to node that is 1 millimeter a process that is called saltatory propagation which we have already mentioned. This increases the speed of propagation dramatically so while nerve impulses in unmyelinated neurons have a maximum speed of around 1 meter per second, in myelinated neurons they travel at 100 meters per second. So, in this program we have talked about the neuron, neural structure and functions which become essential to understand. <laughs>